Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Wolfram Bavarian and this is Crusader Kings 2 and today I've had something special in mind because there's a really fun mod called Divine Intervention and with Divine Intervention you can play the Pope. So let's do that and do the craziest stuff that you can imagine from somebody that has intercourse with literally no one. I essentially want to start off in the High Middle Ages while William the Bastard and all of his friends are still fighting over England because we are fairly close to the Crusades, meaning that I can first start some electric boogaloo in the centre of Europe and right after go down south or wherever it brings us really to strike down some pagans and that is what I just love to do. I think the most important thing to know when you are the Pope is essentially that it doesn't matter how hard you can hit. What truly matters is how hard you can get hit and still move forward. And I think we will take a lot of hits here in the Catholic world because there will be anti-popes, there will probably be rulers that I need to excommunicate. Jerusalem of course, out of all the things, is currently not in our possession and in the meantime, you know, I am the shepherd of the people and they are infighting. Harald is fighting Harald Hadrada and William the Bastard. Whoever of those will win, of course, will then probably be favoured by us, although I don't want to put money on that. Either way, we have a lot of work ahead of us if we want to turn this continent around and turn it into a proper Catholic paradise. <clears throat> that aside, well, you know, sometimes people will come to us and ask for things. For example, William the Bastard is already asking for forgiveness for his sins. And you know what, frankly, that's a good guy. The first of the three of the people involved in this war to do something. And look at that, he is winning the war. He's already done. I will say that I do wonder whether or not he will actually hold this, but we'll see about it. Oh boy, would do you look at this? It's like the game knows that I am now in control of the Pope. The Pope is no longer kind and I mean we are a very spectacular Pope. So many virtues, no vices whatsoever. But now that I'm not kind, you know what? Doge of Venice, I know it hasn't happened yet and I know it isn't you. But I'm going to teach you a lesson for what you will do or what Venice will do to the Byzantine Empire. And don't you do it again. You hear me buddy? The fun part about this mod is that I essentially can go around and people will ask me for hey you know can you crown me can you do this or do that for me and I'm gonna ask this one to give me papal investiture if you were to do it oh so first he is free investiture now he has a pagan at his court he better accept this free investiture and this papal investiture I'm telling you straight up otherwise I'm gonna be really really bad you god damn it I am going to excommunicate you buddy and there's no second chance oh okay when I have the piety I'm coming for you I told you, I told you I'd do it buddy, and you didn't listen. Now as the Pope, I obviously have to do something with the money that these gullible, Id I mean faithful, are giving me. And I'm gonna build up the Apostolic Palace, my goal is stage number 4, and I would love to have some nice thrones and you know, some, some good stuff in there. So let's just start with a throne right here, get that going, because I have a very interesting buttocks that needs a soft cushion underneath it or it will be painful. You know, you excommunicate some people, you throw some money around and all of a sudden you're past and it's all over. Let's hope that Pope Sergius V will have a grander, a longer and an even better time than Alexander II had it. Otherwise, I would be very sad. Well, uh, the Pope is dead. Long live the Pope. Yet again, I guess. Nicholas III, you're gonna have a great time, I promise you. We're going to go on so many fun adventures. Remember how I excommunicated the king of Sweden? Well, now I can use the king of Norway to go to war against Sweden or else I won't crown him. And if we do that, we will hopefully get Sweden off the throne and screw him over. The power of the Pope is unlimited and you shall know about it, Eric. I'm telling you, Eric, don't you ever resist me again. There you go. They're going to war and honestly, Sweden is probably going to win that. We'll see about it. And it's all coming together. Eric is losing the war against Sweden and all of a sudden he feels like he needs forgiveness. He needs to be let back into the church. And you know what, Eric? I have something in mind that may help you. Why don't you go, abdicate, become a monk, and we're all happy. <laughs> all of a sudden everything will be forgiven and forgotten, I promise you. And there you go. I love this mod, I love this mechanic, and we have pushed out Eric. And here's Inge. Inge, may you be a better lord than your brother. I mean, it's tough to be worse than Eric the Hermit, isn't it? Wait a minute. What just happened? Anti-Pope? And his name is Sylvester IV? Sylvester Stallone himself has come to punish me for my sins, but I will not let him win, let me tell you. Alright, we got an anti-Pope now pushing down on our moral authority, of course, and I want to counter that 
Because King Heinrich IV, as he was historically an enemy of the church, uh, or the Pope rather, will not be let out with just a light sentence like, you know, oh, let's do a walk to Canossa. Absolutely not. This man will be punished for everything that he has done. Oh, and I also just noticed France also excommunicated. I thought I could have them fight each other, but I don't think that's gonna work out the way I was imagining it to. God is on my side. Pope Sylvester has already, just two seconds later, passed away. And now, weak Pope Stephanus will fall. This is perfect. Hey, Inge, you want to be crowned by me? Just get rid of the anti-pope. What's the big deal, right? You can fight the HRE alone, I trust. He can't, just spoilers. But, you know. Oh, boy. Okay, so he calls me in. I, I was not aware of this. Can we defeat Kaiser Heinrich IV? Uh, he does have a shitload of troops, but his wealth... Oh, he is named of the empty pockets. That's a really good name. Let's do it. Alright, so far so good. With the money of those people that want to get absolution and whatnot, I have been able to muster force attacking Italy. But in the north, I mean, honestly, 3,000 troops, probably not going to win this war. I feel like we're probably going to lose it. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Scotland, it's really unfortunate for you, but you gotta help me against the HRE. And I'm sure you don't... I mean, you have 1.7k troops, but you're gonna do this, buddy. Please help me. You know, I gotta give a shout out to the wonderful, gullible, it, the faithful of the continent of Europe. They've given me so much money, otherwise I would have been bankrupt 10 times over. Look at this, minus 50, but they keep asking for absolution and A. How could I refuse them if they want to help me out and I'm, I can help them out as well? And surprisingly, it's all over. The Swedish won and the Kaiser has given up his resistance against my wonderful word of the church. And honestly, I'm gonna give the Kaiser what he deserves. And you know what it is. I mean, I love excommunication, he deserves it. Let's go. It's also pretty neat that this dude can ask me to excommunicate William the Conqueror. So let's have a look at him. You know, he's a bastard, but that's okay. He is an impaler, and he also expelled the Jews. You know what? Easy decision making here. Let's get rid of King William the Conqueror. No place at all in the Catholic Church. I also excommunicated France and the HRE. Poland is still in the realm, you know. Uh, Hungary's in the running. Maybe excommunicated tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, Sweden, of course, doing pretty good. Son of Lucifer, though, you know what? <laughs> You're out, too! Strike number three. There you go. Get him out of here. Ah, uh, look at that. King William is gone, and now King Robert is here, and King Robert wants me to crown him. Well, let's, you know, create the 100 years war a bit early here. You gotta go to war against an excommunic uh, excommunicated ruler, and that will be France. I can't actually decide on that, but let's be real, you know, who else could it be? So let's make this happen. The party has started. Just the way I love it. This Earl Harold wanted us to excommunicate William as well, and now he wants me to excommunicate Robert, despite Robert fighting a war against the excommunicated King of France. You know what? None of this makes sense, so my decision is yes, of course! You shall be excommunicated. Got him. <laughs> does this make any sense? I don't think it does. But I'm the Pope. Life can be so cruel. The excommunicated Robert has ousted the excommunicated King Philippe, and neither are now welcome in the church. Oh, I guess Philippe is now welcome in the church. Isn't that a bit rough, Robert? Now you're the only one that is excommunicated. I've been so busy excommunicating rulers like the Holy Roman Emperor that I didn't notice the encroaching pagans. The Pechenegs are here. You know what? Maybe I gotta do something against those instead of excommunicating good Christians. But it's fun. Oh boy. So the Jihad era started before the Crusades, and Khalifa Khan, 16 years of age, is already going in hard. Anatolia should become Shia if they win, but honestly, it's going to be rough for them, because the Byzantines are united, for once. Let's see for how long, going forward. And finally, finally it has happened for us two Crusader Kings. I can now call Crusades, and when I call Crusades, you know, I'm probably not going to do it. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Who needs Jerusalem? Jesus, you know, he's in every church, isn't he? Pope Nicholas III has bigger plans. So, the council, you know, I can consult them. And let's take a look at all of them. I think all of them look very good, first of all. But I think all of them are telling me, why don't you go for the Pechenegs? We've talked about that beforehand, you know, going for Jerusalem, who cares? But look at Kagan, whatever his name is. If we do a crusade for Ruthenia here, uh, we would get all of this, which is currently orthodox, but suppressed by him, into Catholic hands. I would be a huge fan of this, so let's go ahead. 
Boom. I love that this works, by the way. This is just amazing to me that this interface works perfectly fine while I'm the Pope. Oh, wow. And, and off Wessex has a claim on it. Interesting. And let's take a look at the history of Europe. First, there was William the Conqueror, excommunicated. Then there was King Robert I of England, excommunicated. And now there is King Robert II, also excommunicated. They aren't really that lucky, are they? And it has begun. Faithful Christians, follow me into the steppes of Russia. Let's free the Orthodox by making them Catholic and let's destroy the pagan hordes that are defending them. Oh, this is just absolutely ludicrous. Imagine all of these Europeans marching into Russia and starving. That's probably what's going to happen here. And while the crusade is ongoing, you can see all of my troops there. I believe that my meddling in the HRE is showing some results. All of a sudden, there are two kings, the king of Thuringia and the king of Lotharingia. I'm a huge fan, you know, take away more power from the emperor. All of you, be my absolute guests. Kaiser Heinrich IV, you didn't know who you were messing with. I fought three long years for this, and this is what I get. The crusade for Ruthenia ends with the conversion of the Pechenegs. Absolutely outrageous. How are they allowed to do this? God damn it. Anyway, you know, they converted and that is a pretty good start. They, he's known as Kagan Keg in the Bold. A strange name if you ask me. And he's still nomadic. But he has plenty of vassals that are not nomadic. And if we can get those to convert then we actually will have a long term impact here. But let me tell you. I spent so much money from absolutions, I spent so many lives on this war, and not to mention, by the way, that the Byzantines got out of the Shia war here by simply literally overthrowing their emperor. By doing that, the war ended. Man, Europe is a mess, the Byzantines are wild, and the Pachinaks have very weirdly converted. What a life it is. What a life it is indeed. And he, by the way, that is funny, he's a crusader, but he fought on the Pechenegs site because he's a tributary and it, but since he's Christian, it's still counted. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Sleep tight, Nicholas III, and long live Pope Gregorius VII. Sleep tight, Pope Gregorius VII, and long live Pope Sylvester IV. Let's go. That's the spirit. He's blessed. So I think I actually got lucky with this crusade, because they just settled. So Chernigov was a part of the Pechenegs, now they are Christian, feudal, settled, and are ruling over plenty of lords in the north that are Russian Orthodox. Meaning that if they take their time to revoke their titles or to convert them, we will actually get a long-term Catholic realm in this area. Absolute nonsense, of course, but I'm loving it. So keep doing you. And to wish you best of luck, let's just excommunicate Harold II. Why? No particular reason. Earlier I said Pope Sylvester IV was blessed, but you know what? With the border gore that he created here, maybe he was cursed. Welcome, Alexander III. You know, my meddling in Europe hasn't been the best. We've created a mega Holy Roman Empire, colonizing Africa, taking Croatia. Everything is terrible. And now we have another Heinrich on the throne, Heinrich V, the Able. But there's still something that brings me joy, and that is when I can recreate the Hundred Years' War again, but this time around the other way. The French this time attacking the English. Absolutely beautiful. And as I am a very dirty Pope Alexander, let's take a look at this. Yep, they have converted some of the Russians. Dude, that is lovely. We will actually have Russian Catholics. I love it. Honestly, the weirdest shit happens in this game. Kaiser Heinrich V invited me, the Pope, to his coronation, but he didn't want me to crown him. He just used some random Prince Bishop Louis. It's weird. I also discovered that there is uh, Prince Arpad Sylvester attacking Sylvester, you may notice, attacking the Holy Roman Empire for his claim on the Holy Roman Empire. And you know what? I really want to support that to weaken the Holy Roman Empire. So what can I do? Of course, I mean, you know me. I mean, you know, you know what I do in this game at this point. So I'm not certain that Arpad will win this. I can't directly help him. I can send him some money, but that is extremely tedious. Why don't we go one step further? See, I'm reigning over plenty of Italian lands, but there is a war goal here. If I go with a papal war for any of these duchies, I could go ahead, claim them from him, and maybe help Arpad on the throne. This is what I had all these training montages for. We're doing this, boys. Well, I did do it, but Alexander III is now dead and Pope Calistinos, what happened to my face? Where's my beautiful Sylvester Stallone face? I'm now French. Despicable. And I'm also, oh god, I didn't even notice the army up there. Uh, I'm also fighting the HRE and maybe we can win it? This is the battle that will decide everything. My reinforcements are coming, and if I lose this, then Arpad will have no chance of doing anything. 
But I need to defeat this monster HRE that has claimed so many other territories. And the French Pope shall lead it by himself. So let's get this done. Or rather, let's try to get this done. If we can't, I mean, so be it. Oh, but it's looking good. Our tactics are working. Whoa! And it's... Oh, we did it. Let's go. Easy. 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 And we have done it. Spoleto is now under our control. Adalberto Silvestre is now part of our realm. And Shelby, of course, a council member. Much like all the other Sylvester Stallones running around in my realm. And that is pretty good news. Because we just destroyed the HRE at its own game. Having more troops. Oh, I shouldn't should not have dissolved my troops there, but that's okay. That's that's gonna be fine. Don't sweat it. Now to further weaken the HRE, I've, I can of course not support ARPA, you know, in any more direct way. But what I will do is I will curse and by that I mean excommunicate every single viable ruler that could become the new heir for the HRE. Ah yes. Myself. How blessed I was indeed. Alexander III starting the war against the HRE. What a blessed, blessed ruler he was. Beautiful. You know, blessing yourself feels even better than just being blessed. This is actual perfection. Siegfried Sylvester Stallone von Nordheim has made it onto the Holy Roman Emperor throne. He is the King of Kings, the Emperor of Emperors. What an absolute beauty he is, isn't he? Oh boy, and I think this will be our send-off here. The Children's Crusade has started. Luidolf, also from the von Nordheim dynasty, actually the son of the former King he uh, Kaiser Heinrich the Abel, is now going out trying to get the Children's Crusade done. I will support him whenever and wherever I can. I guarantee it. Well, you know... I supported the Children's Crusade wherever I could, and they spawned in with 86,000 troops. I don't think I need to help them in this war. I think it's already over. <laughs> I don't think the Fatimids stand any chance whatsoever. This is the power of Christ right here. And there you go. King Luidolf, the Chosen of Gabriel of Jerusalem of the von Nordheim dynasty has done it. Am I good pope or what? I didn't even need a proper crusade for this. I just sent the kids out, you know, to have some fun. Boys gonna be boys. If you enjoyed this video, then I would appreciate it if you could leave a like or share the video with somebody that you know. And if you want to see more of this content, then subscribe. You can do that right here on my icon in the video. And to the left, you got a video that may interest you. See you later, alligator.